my surgery is coming up tomorrow. It's, oh my goodness. The, uh, there's definitely some nerves. Um, trying to just focus on the positive, the fact that I'm going to be healing and recovering and my ankle is going to be, you know, fully functional and usable again, and I'll be able to do all kinds of amazing things on it. So just trying to keep focused on that. Um, but UPS just came by and delivered a huge stack of boxes. That one definitely looks like it's my knee scooter. I mean, there's a giant picture of a knee scooter on it, but I have no idea what are in these other ones. There's an Amazon box. There's this like random paper box. So I guess we can open them together and find out. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna start at the top and work my way down. I have no idea what these top two boxes are. I know the bottom is the knee, knee scooter, so that's not a mystery, but I am really curious about these top ones. All right, what did I get from Amazon? Interesting, we have got a foam roller. I'm assuming that this is for physical therapy. Um, so they are getting me all set up ahead of time, which is nice. So it is a um, grid foam roller from this company called Trigger Point. Apparently you can get that on Amazon. Maybe I will find that for you and try to link it below. It's interesting because I actually wanted a foam roller. I've been, um, or a roller like this. I've had something like this on my Amazon wish list for a while. So it's kind of random that I now have one because I hurt my ankle. Um, weird how things work out, but this is the first thing in my Amazon box. Okay, what else do we have? An Ace Ankle Compression Band. I have so many of these, but I guess I gotta make sure I am supplied and I have the correct one, the one they want. All right, it's pretty simple. It looks like it's gonna go around my heel and, a la and uh, Velcro around um, you know, the front of my ankle and then the, like that. So, interesting. Okay, well, cool. And let's see, we've got one more thing in this box. Ah, more physical therapy stuff. So it is a set of TheraBands. TheraBands come in different colors that represent different amounts of resistance. So it starts with the yellow being least resistance and goes up to the red followed by the green and then the heaviest resistance is going to be the blue. So you can kind of step yourself up as you need more uh, resistance. And now these are obviously something that's used a lot in physical therapy. They're called TheraBands for a reason, but they're also a fantastic tool if you wanna get some stretching in or you can. there's different strength training exercises you can do using the heavier resistance TheraBands. So I'm gonna actually post a link to these down below as well in case you wanna pick up a pair for yourself. And I may do some you know, training videos in the future for you how to incorporate uh, bands like this into your own um, you know, warming up for the ice and that kind of thing. So you can get some tips on how to use these. So these are great. I'm glad that they are sending me these. It's good to feel like I'm prepared not only for the surgery, but for the recovery that's gonna come after. So awesome. Okay, on to box number two, this mysterious paper box, which is definitely not filled with paper. Um, odd. Oh, yay. It's a walking boot, you guys. I don't know why it came in a paper box. Um, weird. Okay, so it's a tall boot, which is, I've worn a tall boot before and really liked the tall boot. It is a size small, so that's a good thing. If you watched the video from when I hurt my ankle in September, you'll know that they gave me a way too big short walking boot. It was a medium and I could literally just pull it off my foot. This is nice. I, I can already tell you that this size small is going to fit me. It's cool because it has an air pump. So this liner will fill up with air and kind of cushion my foot. So that's great. Um, I am not looking forward to wearing a walking boot again, but I know it's got to be done. So it's nice to have a new nice fitting walking boot. 
Okay, on to the knee scooter. I'm imagining some assembly is gonna be required, so I'm hoping that there are some instructions in there. Okay, so the first thing in this box is another walking boot. I don't know if that's a mistake or what, but it's also a size small. It's still, an, it's the same exact company. They're both from the same company. They both have that great like air inflation. Just one's a tall boot and one's a short boot. So um, yeah, I don't really know why I have two, but yay, <laughs> two walking boots. If I sprain the other one, I'll be taken care of. Okay, so we have this main piece of the knee scooter. Um, it looks like there's a lock on it, so that's cool. All right, now we have the handle. I'm smart, I can figure this out. Goes in here. There aren't even any instructions. I am just, there's no instructions anywhere on how to put this thing together. There's no paper, nothing. So just gonna figure it out. Okay, and my knee part. I honestly don't know how you're supposed to put this in. It doesn't, it doesn't actually fit. I'm just gonna lean on it. Ah, oh, got it. Okay. I have to figure out like the right heights for everything. I have no idea. Okay, I have my knee scooter. Does this make it real or what, you guys? Well guys, I think I'm getting the hang of this thing. Um, I had to do a couple of adjustments to get all the heights of like the handles and then the knee pad and all that figured out. But I think I've got it to where it's super comfortable by now. I have to say, it's got a great turning radius. I mean, it handles really well. <laughs> um, I have to like learn how to make it collapse really easily to like go in the car and that kind of thing. So, but I'm sure I'm gonna get quite adept at using this thing in the next couple of days after the surgery or weeks or whatnot. So I got plenty of time to learn, but for now, um, I got it sorted out, so I'm all set. All right, skaters, thanks so much for watching and following along with me on this journey. You can be sending me your prayers and all your good thoughts tomorrow as I head into surgery. I appreciate all the love you guys have been showing me on here. It just uh, fills my heart. It, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So thank you so much. I will keep you posted about how things go and I'll see you all again soon.